What's up, you guys? We had to schedule a reschedule a job till tomorrow because storms are upon us. So I was just brainstorming video ideas and figured uh, I'd give you all a walkthrough on my trailer. I bought this off a guy a couple years ago. Oh, I guess about a year, year and a half ago. And I love the simplicity of how he set everything up. So we'll begin. There's a garden hose back here. This is probably the cheapest part, like a 30 $35 reel. We have bungee cords that keep it in place from not going anywhere while we're driving. <clears throat> Little PVC piping for the gun. And down there is the surface cleaner. I can't wait to get an eight gallon a minute and get a bigger surface cleaner because I love this. This is 20 inches. <clears throat> but using my buddy's rig when we uh, tag team big jobs, man, those big boy surface cleaners makes quick work of concrete <clears throat> excuse me but yeah we got a 275 gallon water tank right there and this is where we control all of the we got bleach on the left water in the middle soap on the right and the plumbing is very simple you see that hose on the left it goes up right there goes around and goes to the dipstick that we just stick inside the bleach whenever we're ready. There is 250 feet of soft wash hose right there. There is our pressure hose. And here is the pressure washer. It's a Honda, it's like 4.2 gallons a minute. This is the downstream. This is where you control our downstream. And from the get-go, when we got it, the mix was just not coming out that strong at all. He said it was supposed to be about a 1% mix. It's definitely not. You know, you can control uh, the soap and bleach through that. And so it never really worked that great. We tried to tried it a couple times. Uh, to be honest, I don't, I haven't bothered trying to get a stronger mix out of it because we just use the soft wash hose for all of that stuff and here is <clears throat> one of the toolboxes we actually keep 12 volt battery in there and it has a cord down in there that we just plug in when we need to charge it tarp just some random gallons cleanse all This is another toolbox here. Just keep everything, whatever you need. Amma's, you know, it's just a mess in there uh, right now. But, uh, but yeah, there is when you're working, man, especially with, you know, in the truck and the it, it, things get I'm a clean guy. I, I believe cleanliness is next to godliness. When you have a clean space, it, it just gives you a clear mind and but when you're in season or you're working a lot it just it gets messy quick but there's our soap tank fill it up with some surfactant and just a little gas back there um drum of bleach held down by some ratchets and yeah man very very simple stuff i love this trailer so dang much man you know you see you see some other trailers that, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. You know, they're different trailer builds from different companies, you know, but this is working great for me, man. I, I love some of these $25,000, $30,000 trailers. It's just, but it's a, it's kind of the same with trucks. You know, it's, we'll, we'll get there when it makes sense, but this thing has made me some good money. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to wait a little bit and upgrade to an eight gallon a minute. And that's, that's really, honestly, I love this trail. I would not trade this for anything. The only thing that I would upgrade is to an eight gallon a minute to make it go a little quicker. But yeah, you guys, that's the trailer. That's everything. Uh, yeah. Let me know if y'all have any, uh, just anything, any questions, any thoughts about anything? I'm happy. I'm not some guru know-it-all, but I'm happy to answer whatever help in any way I can, man, because 
you're constantly learning in this business no matter how long you've been doing it for. So I just wish the best for all of y'all. And uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Have a good one, guys.